My best friend forced me to know about this, so now I'm forcing you to know about this. That's right, bucko. You click out of this video and you're done. You're done. You're grounded. No, you may not go to Underground Alley this weekend and mac on emo horrors. No, you're staying put. Sorry. No, but for real, on a serious note, this has got to be one of the most disgusting things that I have ever had the misfortune of learning about. Thank you, Courtney. Um, she begged me to make a video on this, so here I am making a video on it. I'm going to be making a lot of jokes. I'm going to be making this really light and easy to listen to, but only because it's really fucking gross in all reality. And when things are serious and when they're gross, like, I have to make it humorous or, like, it just, it, I, I can't deal with it. I'm going to throw in some, like, real-time footage of me reacting to this initially and seeing the videos and pictures about it initially um, as, like, it's relevant in the video. Let's fucking get it. Oh, this is about to be so gross. This is so gross, guys. I'm so sorry. My bestie asked me to. I have to do it. I'm so sorry. So Kelly Ronahan, or differentially Kelly, as she's known on social media, was born in Canada. She is in her late 30s. I couldn't find her exact birthday, but she is in her late 30s. And she was a former ballet dancer. She also has an identical twin sister. She comes from a very normal, loving, happy family and background, but it seems like she has had a very hard time finding her own identity outside of like being an identical twin. So Kelly was a high school dropout. On her social media, she claimed that after she dropped out of high school and became an adult, she eventually became a sex worker and she had a pimp named Paul. On social media, she claims that Paul would physically assault her um, and that Paul made her partake in bestiality acts. And after she performed the bestiality acts on the animal, he then forced her to eat it. So she has pictures on her social media where she's beat up pretty badly and that show all the bruises and whatnot that Paul had put on her. These pictures are speculated to be photoshopped and before anyone comes at me for like victim blaming and all that, please actually watch the video and then you will see why a lot of people are leaning towards this being, these pictures being photoshopped and that this whole scenario might even be fake in itself. But anyway, she'd be on her Instagram posting pictures and stories of her abuse. She would open up about self-harm. She would open up about an ED that she was struggling with. And she received a lot of very supportive comments and had a lot of people like in her corner um, uplifting her and sending her like positive vibes and all that. And she seemed to like it a lot. She really liked the attention, but like she liked it like an unhealthy amount a lot. Eventually, she did start seeing a psychiatrist. This psychiatrist went on to diagnose her with what he described to be one of the worst cases of PTSD that he had ever seen in his professional career. By 2015, she was posting a lot of pictures and videos of her being hospitalized for blood transfusion. These blood transfusions were caused by her supposed anemia, and she was losing like a crazy amount of blood, but the doctors couldn't seem to find a reason why she was losing all of this blood. She all They also couldn't find like where the blood went. It's really uncommon for people to lose the amount of blood that Kelly was losing, and there be no cause to it but she was anemic, apparently. So Kelly was losing a obscene amount of blood for seemingly no rhyme or reason. She was getting so many blood transfusions and so frequently that it was equaling out to like a shot glass amount of blood a day. But apparently her life really depended on her getting these blood transfusions. So Kelly is hospitalized often and she's getting all of these blood transfusions caused by her anemia. And she's posting every little bit of her journey onto her Instagram and her other social medias. But she's like 
posting like an uncomfortable amount about her hospitalization on social media. There's a picture of her in the hospital with her little wheelie thing that carries like the IV bags and her like fluids and her fucking blood. And she's like got her back leg pressed all the way up against a wall and is doing like some crazy ballet stretch. So like, yeah, cool. You can be like completely positive and like good vibes only and positive energy only when you're in that kind of situation. But if she was losing that much blood and having to get that many transfusions and she was that fucking ill, why in the fuck would she be running through the halls with her little IV bags and like straight up doing some yoga pose up against the damn wall? Like a lot of people saw that and they were like, ma'am, excuse me, ma'am. Aren't you, like, dying? Aren't you having to get, like, pumped full of blood 24 fucking 7? Get your fucking leg down. What are you doing? Because she was posting so much about her blood transfusions and, like, her rare condition of anemia, a lot of local news outlets and a lot of local organizations started reaching out to her. And they did interviews with her and got her to tell her story on, like, a broader spectrum to get it out to more people. She was encouraging a lot of people to donate blood. She actually did a commercial promoting blood donation. If you're able to donate blood and you're healthy enough to donate blood, I, I would go for it because there's probably not a better feeling than maybe being a hero and realizing that people are alive because of you and functioning and you get to actually be a, a hero, you get to save a life. It's not a your blood could save life, it's your blood will save a life. You have the power to give life. Donate blood today. Really did encourage a lot of people to donate and her encouraging a lot of people to donate no doubt eventually did save a lot of lives for people who needed the blood. But that is probably one of the only redeeming things that Kelly has done. It's basically all downhill from here, sis. So as time goes on, doctors start to get a little suspicious about how Kelly could possibly be losing the amount of blood that she's losing and the blood vanishing. And there seemingly being absolutely no cause to why this blood is why she's losing blood in the first place. The doctors and nurses around the hospital start questioning her more and they just quit believing her after a certain point. So Kelly was posting her journey on forums like LOL Cow. Members of LOL Cow really started dissecting and picking apart every post that Kelly was making. LOL Cal members started speculating that Kelly was more than likely removing the blood herself and she was disposing the blood herself. Obviously, people online were getting a hold of all of the pictures of herself and the medical records that she was posting and they really started going in on it and they really started pointing out a lot of inconsistencies. As she began getting called out online for faking it, Kelly started making fake profiles claiming to be friends, family, and doctors be on these accounts as these people and she would post claims that were validating Kelly's story. People from the internet ended up finding out that it was all Kelly by tracing back all the IP addresses and it was all like coming from Kelly. After this, Kelly started going on Facebook and she started claiming that she was being harassed and she was being cyber bullied because all of these people were like coming at her with like facts and like actual questions that she obviously didn't have answers to. So Kelly made a GoFundMe. And the reason why Kelly made this GoFundMe was because she needed a really expensive medicine that was supposedly supposed to save her life. She also claimed that the reason for her mystery anemia was due to something called uterine fibroids. And because she had uterine fibroids, I don't even know if I'm saying that right, I'm so sorry, she had to get a full hysterectomy. So she had this GoFundMe up to fund this life-saving medicine and to fund this hysterectomy and to fund seeing a holistic medicine doctor. So mind you, her claiming to have uterine fibroids and her claiming to need this life-changing or life-saving medicine was never medically confirmed. Doctors didn't confirm that she even had this condition. And around the same time, she started having seizures 
and doctors and nurses were straight up like, no, no, ma'am, absolutely not. You were faking it. There is nothing causing these seizures, sis. What are you doing? And they basically quit humoring her and they quit treating her because they came, it became apparent to them that she was faking a lot of these illnesses that she was claiming to have. So after doctors quit taking Kelly seriously, it went quiet for Kelly for a while. But then in 2018 is when shit, literal shit, hit the fan for our girl little Miss Kelly, okay? Buckle up kids, we are going on a disgusting ride from here on out. I am so sorry. I know I said earlier that I was forcing you to go on this journey with me. I was just kidding. I, you can save yourself now. Um, if you love yourself enough, click out because this is going to be really fucking gross. I'm not going to show any extremely graphic images. If you want to see images of this, you can find them somewhere. I'm not doing that because I'm not getting my channel deleted. But I'm just letting everyone know now it's about to get nasty. It's about to get fucking gross. 18, Kelly was back on the internet and she began posting pictures of her swollen feet and ankles along with pictures of blisters that were being caused by an unknown reason. So please, 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 please prepare yourself for this. The subreddit r slash illness fakers determined that the cause for Kelly's blisters all over her legs was because homegirl was injecting literal shit, poo poo, poop into her veins. Pardon me, Jackie, but it is absolutely awful. <coughs> what the fuck, Courtney? Poop. And when I heard this, all I could think about was, girl, poop. Who's poop? Or is it your poop? Is it your sister's poop? Is it your pet's poop? Homie, whose poop are you putting in your veins, sweet summer child? And why poop? Why? <laughs> Kelly, whose poop were you injecting yourself with, sis? I hope it was at least her poop. Wouldn't it be real fucking awkward if she, like, went to her sister and was like, hey, sis, um, you know, like that identical twin bond, everything, um, I need your shit. And her sister is just like, okay, okay, Kelly, I got you. Talking about poop makes me uncomfortable. I hate it here. So the swelling got worse, and these blisters that started off relatively small on her legs started spreading all over her legs, and they became like these huge, black, beef jerky-looking, infected scabs, and they took over her entire legs. And while her legs were completely being engulfed by these black, shitty scabs, she was posting all of it every single fucking bit of it on her social media bro her followers never had a fucking chance they were fucked as soon as they began following her i don't know what the fuck i would do if somebody i was following on social media was posting fucking holes in their leg her scabs were getting so bad that they were turning into like these big black beef jerky looking like scabs and it was getting so infected and her flesh was rotting so much that you could see through her leg and there was even a video of her apparently pulling she was pulling out one of her nerves the scab got so bad because she was this girl was uploading videos of her itching one of these scabs and one of the itching videos she itched out it pulled out one of her nerves from her leg Kelly claimed that all of this was being caused by an autoimmune disease called Beckett disease. Again, her having this autoimmune disease was never, never medically confirmed. Kelly did confirm that yes, she was a picker. A picker meaning that yes, she picked at her scabs. That she was picking at them and intentionally making them worse. She was picking her shitty poopy beef jerky scabs and they were never healing. Really, due to whatever she was injecting into her veins, a 
apparently it's poop. And her picking at these scabs, she had to get a skin graft. While she was in the hospital, under the watchful eyes of doctors and nurses, her legs did begin to heal, and they looked pretty good. And the doctors and nurses sent her home because they thought, cool, she's good now. She's fixed, right? No, whatever the fuck she was injecting in her veins, again, supposedly poop. She started doing it again, and Kelly found herself back in the hospital. So eventually, while Kelly was hospitalized, her roommate made a post on Facebook stating that Kelly needed to move into a wheelchair accessible house. Later on, her sister confirmed that Kelly did in fact need to undergo an amputation operation to amputate both of her legs from above the knee. Kelly's procedure, she was back on social media and she was in high spirits. And it was as if she was absolutely thrilled that she just got her fucking legs cut off from above the knee like she was happy about it but then as soon as people started being like hey homie why are you so happy about getting your fucking limbs cut off then she started like complaining and making like this big scene about how upset it is that she just lost her legs but girl oh no so here Here's what I think. I'm gonna tell you what I think. Let me close my little notes real quick. So let me tell you what I think. Obviously, Kelly is extremely mentally ill. However, Kelly lives in Canada and Kelly received as much care for these illnesses that she possibly could. And Kelly continued to make herself sick and she continued to make her situation worse. It is believed that Kelly has something called Munchausen by internet, meaning that people love the attention and support they get on the internet for being sick so much that they make themselves sick. And I know most of you have probably heard of the Gypsy Rose case where her mother would do things to make her sick or would force her to pretend to be sick. So Munchausen by internet is a lot like that. If people want to get the attention and they want to get the support and they want to get the validation and they feel like if they're not ill they'll lose that attention and that support and that validation a lot of people online don't feel bad for kelly and they don't feel bad for kelly because they feel like she definitely abused the system and she definitely took precious resources that could have saved other people's lives to use on her when she didn't actually need it which they are correct like all that those blood transfusions that she was getting could have gone to somebody who was actually dying and was actually in need of a blood transfusion so yeah she wasted a lot of resources she wasted a lot of doctors and nurses times um and it's just i don't know i don't know how i feel i feel bad because obviously she's extremely mentally ill. But at the same time, I don't feel that bad because she had to go through the trouble of figuring out how to fake being ill and then to take her ass to the doctor or the hospital, it get admitted, and then po take pictures and videos, post it with a long, well thought out post. And that's just, I don't know you know what I mean like obviously she's mentally ill but at the same time she went through great lengths to like get this attention and to get this social media like validation so it's I don't like I don't know how I feel I feel bad but at the same time I don't feel that bad anyways guys oh if you want to see the pictures of her legs so there's an imger or imger account i'm not sure how to say it that has her legs from when they were perfect all the way down to when they got amputated i myself couldn't finish looking at them i was going to make myself vomit if i continued so i had to click out of it and i'm not really going to show any of the super graphic ones in my video i'll probably get my channel taken down if i do that and also it's just nasty it's really gross but if you're into that kind of thing and you want to see it and you don't have a queasy stomach by all means anyways guys thanks for hanging out with me again sorry if i ruined your tuesday night you're mad blame my bestie courtney she did this to me and i did it to you Anyways, I will hopefully be back next week with a new video. 
I start my new job next week, so it might be a little tight. Maybe I'll upload another one later this week. I don't know. But either way, I'll see you guys later. Bye. My true love died for me yesterday. I shall die for him tomorrow.